right hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel okay so in today's video i'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial perfect for the perfect summer beautiful perfect skin you know like the glowy dewy natural kind of skin look when when you want to look like you've been on holiday even though it's just false tan so um and this is what i'm doing today we are mainly focusing around today on skin not eyes um but if you do want to go and check out my other youtube videos because i have been doing quite a lot of eye makeup tutorials recently for pro gay pride and uh, my last video was my orange smoke eye i done for summer so i will link that down below because i loved how that turned out that's my favorite makeup look of my whole youtube experience but if you do like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and do click that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future and obviously don't forget to check out my other social media platforms across the internet featuring my Twitter account and my makeup account. So I will link them down below as well as they're on the screen right here. That was a whole mouthful. If you're new here, hello, my name is Gracie and I do makeup tutorials here on YouTube. If you have any other video suggestions that you want me to do, comment them down below. I love to hear them. Now, if you didn't know, around about exactly a week ago from this um, video going up, which was the 21st of June, um, that, that was the summer solstice day, the sol solstice, and that was the longest day of the year, and also it was the first day of summer. So I thought it was perfect to do a tutorial trying to get the perfect summer glowy skin. So, without further ado, let's dive straight into today's brand new video. first is primer. Now I believe a good primer, a good primer and moisturizer in one will be perfect for you to get the nice summer natural kind of hydration going on because you know you want to look like you've got makeup on but not too thick of a makeup if you know what I mean. So I really believe that if you, um, like if you use a primer, any kind of hydrating primer, not pore filling, I mean if you have any pores that you want to just kind of block up and say goodbye then use your per preferred primer. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to use the primer which is the Um Transit Closer Primer by This Works. This is my favourite one because it's a, it's a mask moisturise, moisturiser talking too fast and primer in one. So this will give your skin the perfect you know hydration and it will sing in your skin to make sure your foundation goes on seats flawlessly. Um, so yeah this is what I'm going to use first. And by the way, if you've never seen my videos before, this is a white primer and I will just take a tiny bit because that's all you need. Okay, so the next thing is foundation. So once your primer is all applied, you want to kind of get, you know, the kind of match. So trust me, I went out went um, by um, this new foundation because I needed a tan foundation. And I bought the Rimmel Match Perfection one. Now this is supposed to be the bomb, the whole tea, and I thought it was great. Now I bought the shade 300. Now me thinking, oh, that actually matches quite well to my fake tan. It looks orange. So I am gonna mix it in with my all-time favorite Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. And because this is the lightest one I own and this is the darkest one I own, so good match or what? and then like kind of a half-ish kind of a pump here so we can get a good foundation going on. Okay, so that's went on pretty nicely. I do feel like it needs to be a tidgy, tidgy, tidgy bit darker. I don't know, but hello, let's have a look. Because if I put this on like all together, it will look orange and we're not in for that look. I like to apply my foundations with a brush um, for a more natural kind of blown out like, kind of a look. Um, I've done this in my last video, if you watched it, um, I used like, you know one of the like brushes that YouTubers are using at the minute, like obsessed with like these kind of a dome brush. And I seen Tati use this over her cream contour, this kind of brush. So I thought I would try it and I believe it just gives you the nice airbrushed 
kind of a look. So like this is the one with the foundation on and this is the one without. So I just kind of feel like it just gives it in my skin but better look. So I'm going to do the rest of the face. For concealer, I'm going to use the tiniest, weeniest little bit of my ordinary foundation um, just to kind of, you know, get the high points and highlights of my face. And yeah, basically, that is it. Okay, so I feel like my skin's got like a natural kind of like a shine to it. Now as you all know, setting your makeup is the key thing to do. So I can want to keep everything kind of in place, but I want to still keep it dewy a little bit. So I'm just going to take this paddle brush and I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade Translucent. I mean, if you have a darker powder, go in with that. And I'm just going to tap it in my eyes where I put that concealer just so you know I don't have like wrinkly under eyes or anything because that is horrendous and also you want to put that um, powder anywhere where you put that concealer for example T-zone and just to maybe just on you know on your chin anywhere you think it might melt time for bronzer and the bronzer I'm going to go in with is my Makeup Revolution powder palette sorry now I'm going to take this shade right here as you can see the one I've dipped into quite a bit and I take this big um, domed brush and basically what I will do is I will start blending it just above my cheekbone to um, you know blend it in a nice place and just get that colour and I do it in circular motions See, I've applied a bit too much here, so I'm going to take a big brush and just kind of blend it all. You're probably sitting wondering to yourself, girl, you need to like really put some concealer on that um, spot on your head. I know, but it's more of like a scab by the way I picked it. So I'm not going to do that in case it gets like really sore because I've really like dug into it. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of the contour colour, which is, I let my fingers hold colour in this one, and just kind of work with it here, the inchiest bit, because sometimes I can over contour and it looks horrendous. Now my last video I used the Revolution um, Duo Brow Pencil, I love this one. If you haven't watched me before, um, I love this pencil by um, Makeup Revolution. It's 250 and I've been using the shade um, Light Brown. Now I'm gonna use the shade Dark Brown today. And I'm just gonna do a feathered eyebrow look kind of a thing. Um, so yes, like literally it's just gonna be kind of two minutes eyebrows. On that note though, this are, these are the final brows. Like literally they have hardly anything in them, really just to kind of give them colour. Then to kind of like put everything in place, I'm gonna take this um, Benefit Ready Set Brow, the one that I loved. Um, and this will lock them in place, so all them sunglasses. You know, and you know how the mess of the eyebrow is. I don't know that anymore. What I'm gonna do, hold on, yep, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a bit of my Hula bronzer and I'm gonna take a big brush. Let's see. Hmm, maybe like this one, this big brush here. I'm gonna just take my Hula bronzer and I'm gonna go in the crease. Just the inciest 
winziest little bit just to give my eye definition and color see look at that like how much of a difference it's made and that's like the tiniest bit of hula and I'm going to take a smaller brush and just run that um, down the lower lash line I'm just doing a tiny bit darker under the lower lash line. I know it's supposed to look like natural, but I think it'll look nice when we've got mascara and everything on. For mascara though, I'm gonna take my all-time favorite benefit, bad girl. Bye. Okay, so mascara is applied. I've just done a light kind of a coat with mascara. I think the eyes and everything look pretty. Good. Now I'm going to do a tiny bit of blush and I'm going to go into my all time favourite blush, the um, rose, not the rosy photograph, the pure colour blush by Estee Lauder. I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and I know it looks like really silly but you know makeup is an art and I'm literally just going to skeet skeet up the blush up here and that is, what is my hair doing? Because like, I want like a soft Kind of a look but nothing too you know and I'm gonna do a soft colour on my head. Um for highlighter I'm gonna go in with my rosy for autograph. Oh god, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, rosy for autograph. Um as you know my favourite highlighter ever and you will see why in a minute. This is the main part of this um, glowy skin makeup look. We don't have to do anything too blinding but it's more to get like that natural, like not natural but like dewy kind of a skin look. Now Nikki Tutorials told, like I was watching one of her videos, and she told me to bring the highlighter down here so it will look more natural. Um, mm -hmm. And it does look nice and dewy, I will say that. Real, real nice actually. Now, honestly, um, you know when you not having a good day and makeup is literally my happy place. Like not having a good day, I will literally sit in my studio and film because that is where I feel so much happier. And I'm just gonna do a light little nose, kind of nose shimmer. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of rosy for autograph and do the inner corner highlight. Okay, so... Oh, hello, glow. Oh! Honestly, guys, if you haven't got rosy for autograph highlighter, go and pick it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this Glimmer Stick by Avon. Now this is in the shade pink, but um, I know I can't find any other uh, like nude. So I'm going to put this on very, very lightly. Just to outline my lips really. I'm then going to go into a posy Balm by Benefit and apply this. There it is. I'm gonna take, oh, hi. Um, the tiniest bit of Studio 10 Gloss.
complete. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now this is just a very simple makeup look, perfect for going out and enjoying the sun. Um, and it actually looks like natural and your skin looks, can we just say it, bomb.com baby. I'm loving the lips. My favorite thing about this is definitely the lips, the Studio Tone Gloss. Oh, and obviously a rosy photograph highlighter. But if you do like this, if you do like this video though, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do click that notification bell if you're seeing videos like this in the future. And yeah, basically that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all on my next one. Bye everyone.